At Lensbaby, we love being surprised. In fact, our lenses are all about beautiful surprises. I'm going to share two of our creative effects lenses with you and give you some best practices on how to get the most out of them. The Composer Pro System lenses are tiltable lenses that allow you to control depth of field in unique ways. The optic swap system means you can remove the optic and change it for another optic that has different focal lengths and effects. There are two primary types of optics, sweet spot optics and the edge optics. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Sweet 35 and the Sweet 50. The Sweet 35 and the Sweet 50 are available in the Composer Pro lens body or individually. They give you a round sweet spot of focus surrounded by gradually increasing blur and are available in 35mm and 50mm focal lengths. You may wonder how this is possible. Most lenses have a flat field of focus where the Sweet 35 and Sweet 50 have a curved field of focus. So let's imagine a cone. The point of that cone is what's sharp focus and that's what you want to point at your subject. The rest of the cone is what falls off into blur around that subject. If you haven't already set up your camera to use a LensBaby lens, you will want to go back and watch the Introduction to LensBaby video. LensBaby lenses are all manual and the Introduction video has some great tips on ways to get you started. The aperture, adjusted by a dial in the front of the optic, controls how much or how little blur you have in your photo. The smaller the f-stop number, the more blur and the smaller the sweet spot of focus. This is good for getting just one eye in focus. As you stop down to darker apertures like f5.6 or f8, your area of focus gets larger. This is great for getting an entire face in focus. Start with your lens pointed straight ahead to get comfortable focusing the sweet spot before adding the variable of tilting. Start with mid-range apertures like f4 or 5.6, a good balance of brightness and size of sweet spot. At these aperture settings, you will be able to get a good focus on your subject. Turn the focus ring to bring the sweet spot of your image in and out of focus. Once you feel confident getting the center in focus, tilt the lens just a little bit to move the sweet spot off center. Once you tilt, you'll need to readjust your focus. The direction you tilt the lens is the direction you're moving your sweet spot. If the lens feels too tight or too loose, adjust the tilt tension by turning the tension ring closest to the camera. Here are a couple tips to keep in mind. A little bit of tilt goes a long way. You don't want to tilt all the way to the edge. On a crop sensor camera, you run the risk of moving the sweet spot of focus off the frame. Focus bracketing also helps. Dial in your focus, take your first shot, then adjust your focus slightly, taking a few more shots until you're happy with your results. Using your DSLR's live view mode also helps. Use the digital zoom to zoom in and confirm your focus. Use the Composer Pro series of lenses with Sweet 35 and Sweet 50 to add emotion and magic to your landscapes. Portraits, flowers, fine art, street photography, and more. Once you start shooting with these lenses, you'll never see the world in quite the same way again. Have fun and push your creative vision with these one-of-a-kind selective focus lenses.